got much hard racing behind him this season. He wanted uh, a very quick thousand metres in Venice uh, a few days ago, but of course the weather wrecked that entirely. Steve Avett, uh, 25 years old, Olympic 800 metre champion, the European 1500 metre champion, the Olympic uh, bronze medalist in the 1500 metres, and the world record holder at 1500 metres and the mile. This coming live from the stadium in Oslo, where no less than 38 world records have been set. In the field as well for Great Britain, young Stevie Cram, you can see him in the background there with the blonde hair. Young Olympic finalist, uh, still only 20, he was eighth in Moscow. The full lineup will be Steve Avett, Willie Woolbeck of West Germany, Steve Cram, Great Britain, Steve Scott, the American champion, a real danger, Richie Harris of America, Todd Harbour of America, third in the American Championship, Tom Byers of America, Roger Bulti of Ethiopia, Thomas Westinghager of West Germany, the second fastest man in history, Harold Hudak of West Germany, the third fastest man in history, John Walker of New Zealand, the 1976 Olympic champion, wearing 1-2-2, and the former world mile record holder. There's uh, Gonzalez of Spain, fastest man over 3,000 metres in the world this year, Rosendahl of Norway, and Engeland of Norway. 182 is Engeland on the inside. 1,500 metres, three and three-quarter laps of the track. An enormous field of the battle on for places right away at the start. Steve Ovet's got a clear run there. Westinghouse is right alongside him. Also going quite well is Byers of America. So they settled down. They were hoping that Byers would make the pace. Messinghager in second place, and it is Byers now bursting through from the back. Gonzalez of Spain in second place, and Byers has really gone off far too quickly, possibly there. The burst has taken him away from the field. Tom Byers, sixth in the American Championship at 1500 metres last weekend. Gonzalez of Spain in second place, Messinghager third. Coming up on the outside now is Bulti in the green vest of Ethiopia, who goes second. Coming around to complete the first lap, the crowd drumming on their hoardings around the ground as Byers leads. In second place is still Bulti of Ethiopia. And then a big gap and they're not really chasing. Gonzalez showing no signs of leading the rest on. And the leader threw in 57.6. In the world record run by Ovet last year, it was 55.5. And I would think this world record is not on. They've got away very disappointingly. Uh, the two pacemakers well away from the rest, and the rest are playing it absolutely cat and mouse. Fires leading. Still uh, Wolfie in second place, and they're now some 40 metres clear of the, the group that isn't chasing. So, the uh, big names have refused to do battle. It's a purely tactical race from here on for the rest, and indeed they may be pushed to catch the leaders. Byers coming through with two laps to go. Bulti in second place. Followed by Hudak now of West Germany. Uh, Obed in fourth place. Gonzalez five. Six, Bessinghager. Seventh, Walker. Eighth is Harris. Into the back straight, and that lead now at 800 metres, 154.6. As the others just complete 800 metres, is now some 50, 60 metres. This could be the turn-up of the season so far and indeed the turn up of athletics for several seasons <laughs> because he's so far away they're not going to catch him i don't believe tom byers the leader 26 years old sixth in the american 1500 meter championship last weekend and now has some 60 meters to spare as he's coming round to the bell crowd cheering him and groaning in disappointment about the rest but really they're not racing at all being led by Hudak, followed by Ovet, followed by Vessinghager. Byers is going to win this. There's surely nothing can stop him now. Bulti is being caught. And Engeland, completely unknown of Norway, in third place. And Byers in the back straight now. And the gap is even bigger. Tom Byers is tying up his legs. Uh, I've got lead in them now. Bulti in second place. Ovet goes third. Vessinghager fourth. And Byers is tiring, but he's only got 200 metres left, and he deserves to win this. Obet is leading the chase now, like the class athlete he is. But is it too late? Still Byers leading as he passes the water jump and comes round into the straight. 
He drops for 30 to 40 metres and they're closing fast and all the time. Steve Scott now of America in second and third place chasing Obet. Fires driving off. Obet is closing and they're going to catch the towering American. It's Fires. No, he's found new breath and he's driving again. Fires leads and Fires is going to win it. Obet second. In third place, Gonzalez. Fourth, I think, was Steve Scott, but the crowd have burst onto the track and they're mobbing the unknown American who took them on as pacemaker and has now beaten a lot of them. The time, 339.01, way, way outside the world record of uh, Steve Ovet, 331.36. But that's a run that this boy will never forget. Put it in the pacemaker, they let him get away. Congratulated there by uh, mm -hmm. uh, Richie Harris. They let him get away and they paid for it. Steve Ovet produced an astonishing last lap. And just for a moment, it looked as if he might catch Byers. But then the crowd got hold of the American and brought him home. He found new life in those tired legs, and that's what winning does for you. He's bouncing down the back straight as the stars walk away with the crowd frowning and uh, one or two of the uh, crowd. He, not, an odd boo, actually, uh, for the real stars. Uh, Steve had a very rueful smile. But they left it too late.